Any specific securities, types of securities, used as examples are for demonstration purposes only. None of the information provided should be considered a recommendation to invest in or liquidate a particular security or type of security. Zach's Trade does not endorse or adopt any particular investment strategy, any analyst opinion, rating, report, or any approach to evaluating individual securities. This tutorial will demonstrate how to view an option chain in Zax Trade Pro and place an option order. The first step is to have an options chain window on your layout. If you do not already have an options chain window, you can view our tutorial on how to customize your layout in Zax Trade Pro. You can also click on the new window tab in Zax Trade Pro and select option chain. For this example, we'll use the Walt Disney Company, symbol DIS. You'll want to type in the symbol on the top left hand corner of the option chain window and click enter. You want to make sure you select the right exchange as well as the right country that you want to trade in. In this example, we'll select Walt Disney Company on the New York Stock Exchange and select Stock Smart. If you'd like to see all available strike prices, you can click on the strikes area on the option chain window. From there, you can select all to view all available strike prices. If you'd like to see more options expirations dates, you can click on the more tab to the right of the nearest expiration date and select your expiration. In this example, we'll select August 17th, 2018 as the monthly options expiration. The calls are on the left hand side and the puts are on the right hand side. Let's say for example we want to look at the August 17th, 2018 100 strike calls. You can simply click on the asking price to create a buy order or you can click on the bid price if you'd like to create a sell order. By default, a limit order will be displayed as your order type. In this example, we're going to place a buy order for five contracts. We already have buy selected here since we clicked on the asking price. For our quantity, we're going to change that to five contracts. By default, the order type is limit, so we'll now enter a limit price. You'll see the bid and the ask price here. Let's say, for example, we want to enter a limit price of 10. Remember that while we are purchasing five contracts, each contract represents 100 shares of Disney. So the cost for each contract would be multiplied by 100. In this example, we'll keep the order good for the day. A day order means that the order is good for that trading day only or the subsequent trading day if the market is closed. It is important to note that with the limit order to buy, you are specifying to buy that option at the limit price you specify or better. With a sell limit order, you are specifying to sell that option at that limit price or higher. Please note that limit orders guarantee your price but do not necessarily guarantee your execution. There has to be a market for the option price that you specify and there could be instances where there are orders ahead of yours or there are only enough contracts to fill at that price. When you are ready to submit your order, you can click the submit button. An order preview screen will pop up. You can then review your order and if you have a margin account, you can see the impact the order will have as far as your margin requirements go. You can then place the override and transmit button to place your order. Your order will now show up underneath the orders tab in the activity window. If your order has filled, you can see a checkbox here underneath the orders tab and you'll also see your fill price. You can also see all of your completed orders for the day underneath the trades tab. If you'd like to modify your limit price for the option that you're purchasing, you can simply click on the price there and enter a new price and then click on the update button. If you'd like to cancel your order, you can cancel your order by simply clicking on the cancel button. Thank you very much for being a Zax Trade client. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful.
Still have questions? Chat with us at zaxtrade.com, email us at support at zaxtrade.com, or call us at 888-979-2257. Support hours are Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, excluding exchange holidays. Please also click the subscribe button below for any new tutorials.